Hi Daryl, welcome to Bilik Kaca Act at Hong. Um, I think before we start off, um, would you mind to intro yourself? Okay, uh, my name is Daryl Tan and I'm working in Clark U. Mm. At the same time, I'm actually suffering from mental illness. Mm. But I do not really call myself as someone who is suffering. And I don't want to use the term someone who has, is recovering. Mm -hmm. Because recovery may sound that I'm actually weak. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I, I'm still like holding on to the illness. Mm -hmm. So I want to see myself overcoming my mental health condition. Okay, so would you mind to share what illness actually that uh, you are facing or going so through? I actually have um, bipolar disorder and I think what affected it me most was it affected my character. So the symptom is it makes me very high, elevated, energetic, but I actually instill it in my own character. Mm. So to get it out of my character helps me to recover. Then back to myself, someone who who is is have like good days, bad mm -hmm. days, have relaxing days, you know, have tired days and not always, you know, so like I have to do this, you know, every single day, 100%, 100%, 100%. Actually, it's not like that, it's just that um, some days are good, some days are bad, mm -hmm. but life still goes on. Okay, so, uh, 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 uh. Curiosity, how, how do you know that you are affected of this bipolar? How, how, mm. how, what, what makes you calm that, hey, I have, you know, I have faced this sickness? Actually, what helped me face my condition, right, is to understanding about bipolar by actually meeting people with mental health condition. Oh, okay. So, I understand what is it? Is it the character or is it really the illness? Hmm. Mixing with them, you know, looking at myself relapse, they relapse, how I'm triggered, how they are triggered. No, no, and I'm really trying to help myself. Okay, by knowing each other. So back then, um, you consult a doctor when you feel that you are, you are not stabilized or, mm -hmm. or how, how it come back to you? I consult a doctor, I consult a cons psychologist, I was hospitalized, but it isn't the same because it's more of a professional kind of interaction. Whereas if it's, it's through friends, you know, in a center, and you, you meet people, you know that won't judge you and all have conditions, you, 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 you really understand the illness. Okay, so, so when when you are being, um, you know, diagnosed with, with uh, bipolar, when you are being announced, the doctor said, hey, um, Daryl, um, you have this bipolar. What is your first reaction? Uh, I, was, I was lost. Uh. I don't know that I have bipolar, but I know I'm mad and I have my mental health condition. And I am hospitalized with uh, Woodbridge Eye Mesh. All right. Yeah. Okay, so, so do you share it to, to your families or friends, you know? Mm -hmm. Or do they come to you after they, they heard that um, you, you are facing this challenge? Actually, there was no one that I could share. Okay. Because everyone seems to laugh. Right? Okay. Yeah. So, so you're alone by yourself, basically. So I'm alone by myself and I have to face what's next in my life. Okay, so from there, um, you know, you're given medication, you're being treated and you're being cared, right? Then, um, how long is the process that you went through that treatment till you goes to Club Hill? So, I was 18 when I developed the mental illness. Oh. I came to Club Hill when I was about 27 or 28 and now I'm 35. Wow, okay. So within the years at Club Hill, 
uh, you are much confident, you are much... Oh, I can see your smile, then you smile, right? Do you have this smile before that on the 18? On your age of 18, basically? I have, uh, but it's a wider smile. <laughs> so if there is a wider smile. <laughs> wow, thank goodness. Okay, so basically, uh, Club Hill really keep the support, right? In, in, in either way of motivating you. It's not only the support, it's the exposure. You, know? you have the exposure and with what you see, you help yourself. Exposure, it means that you see things in front of you and you um, get it from experiences. You meet or? friends, you meet people, you, you, you get help from other societies, you know, you go for seminar talks, mm -hmm. counsellors, people you meet, you know, people you mingle around with. Well, it's, you don't get it if you're not part of you. I understand. Yeah. So, um, what is your uh, biggest challenge? Um, I know, um, during the process back then. Mm, I think that my biggest challenge is actually my own issue. My, my issues that led to me to develop the mental health condition. And the issue that I developed after having a mental health condition. So one by one, I, I really have to come to terms with myself. Okay. In order for myself to move on. Okay. Do you think the surroundings, the environment, the people around treated unfair to you? Um, During the moment that you are going through the challenges? It will be unfair. You feel Sometimes, unfair? not yeah. because intentionally, by your own perception. Yeah. You believe it's unfair, it's unfair. Yeah. But it is unfair. But to believe that people are unfair, it doubles the effect. Understand. So yeah. do you keep to yourself when you are feeling anger, sad? You know, since you say that there is no one around you, and, and do you do you sit in one corner of the room? Or I did, I did, I did. You did I, did. I had my worst moment, I've been through hell. <laughs> so okay. I just want to get out of hell. Yeah. So what is the, um, you know, the big point that you say, hey, look, I'm Daryl, I need to move on from here. I think the big point was actually not myself, recovery. The big point was saying that when I went in Club Hill, the clients and participants that helped, they recover. You know, as they recover, and that's the testimony of my work. You know. Being able to help others, it means much more than being able to help myself. Mm. So do you feel awkward sharing your experience or, or sharing your journey to, to, you know, to the friends or, or to anyone who asks you, you know, that kind of thing? I think you're now a mentor. Yeah. Yeah? Right? So, so do you feel awkward sharing that to, to the rest of uh, your friends? I feel awkward but because I don't practice it frequently. <laughs> awkward in sharing your experience. Sharing, yeah. Yeah. Kind of thing. But you will share all the challenges or, or I mean, you share all the um, it, it, you know, the strength that you have towards the journey that you have to went through, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's nice, that's nice. All right, I should congrats you, man. Thank you. All right. Um, but, but anyway, can you just share to us um, what services do Club Heal have? Here at Club Heal, we promote the healing and recovery of people with mental health challenges by inspiring hope, empowering lives, fostering acceptance, and spreading love. It has a vision of a stigma-free society that is conducive for healing and recovery through our programs and services, such as center-based rehabilitation and recovery programs. We have four centers, Bukit Pato East, Pasir Ris East, Masling, and Bangkok. Counseling services and home visits for individuals and family counseling at the centers and at clients' home empowerment programs, our healing voice, peer mentoring and advocacy program, support groups for caregivers and youths, community outreach and training such as public talks and workshops and healing friends training, mental health services for the elderly, center and home-based services for the elderly and mental health challenge, psychoeducation and support to caregivers and silver volunteers, vocational rehabilitation such as housekeeping and making of handicraft items. 
Club Hill aims to assist and empower persons with mental health issues to regain confidence in themselves and others in their journey towards community reintegration. Caring to me means showing kind actions and words from the heart. 